what are the three key practical steps you can take to help bridge the talent gap? I'll be sharing with you in today's video. What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Monica Talk Cyber. On this very channel, I share with you both my personal and professional learnings and talk to you about hacking your career, personal growth and leadership. So if you wish to learn, grow and be a part of this journey, then hit the subscribe button. So here's a popular complaint I hear within an industry. We don't have enough people. We have a shortage of people, we have a shortage of talent, and we don't have enough experienced talent within our industry. And here's my unpopular opinion. Not every role is a coder, a hacker, or a technical expert. We don't just need coders and hackers and technical experts within our industry. InfoSec is a lot more than just technology. Yes, we do have a shortage of people that are already within the industry, but the issue is there's a lot of people there that want to break into this industry. There are a lot of people within our industry itself that want to find the right career path, they want to be trained, they want to be developed and built and invested in. So we kind of are responsible and have led to this shortage problem. So it's only fair that we are part of the solution. If you don't invest in people, if you don't train them, build them, retain them, then we certainly will not find people with the right competency for the right roles, for the right tasks, for the right purpose that we want to build and do and uh, grow the businesses with. And there are brilliant people in this industry that I know that I have met, that I have worked with, that have not coded a single line in their life, but they're damn good at doing their job and they are within infosec industry. So the point I'm trying to make is not that we don't need technical experts or that we don't need basic understanding of technology to work and succeed in cybersecurity or information security. The point I'm trying to make is that not every role needs to be a coding or hacking or a tech expert. And we cannot be having unrealistic hiring um, demands when we're trying to find the talent, which is one of the reasons, one of the biggest reasons why we're not able to find talent. Well, I started as a hacker within this industry with zero real world experience, but somebody took a chance on me and it should be acceptable that for entry level roles, we have people with zero to less years of experience. So what are the three practical things you can do to help contribute to um, bridge the talent gap within an industry? Number one, have the understanding that yes, we do need the basic understanding of technology, but information security is much more than just technology. There are so many roles today that were not there 20 years ago within information security that have nothing to do with being a technical expert, being a hacker or being a coder. They need to understand the basic aspects of technology. That's fine. But understand that it's, it's different than being a technology expert. Two, having realistic hiring practices. It should be acceptable to hire people with zero to less years of experience for entry level positions. It should be completely unacceptable to have CISP as a certification for an entry level position or any other certification that requires certain years of experience within the industry already. And number three, this is probably the most critical one, training, building and investing in people. Talent, be it any industry, needs to be nurtured and cultivated. So what are some of the other key practical steps that you believe we all can do to contribute to bridge the talent gap, to be a part of the solution and not just the problem? Share your thoughts with me in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. This is Monica, signing off.